What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing man cake from Fortnite. Let's get started at the top of our page with the lower edge of the brow. So we're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and we'll just bend that out towards the left. Let's line this up on the right side and do the same thing. We're gonna go up and then bend that out. Let's go back and draw the inside edge of the brow. Starting on the left, I'm just gonna curve this in and then pull that up, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now from the top, I'm gonna draw a short angle line coming down and out towards the sides. And we'll follow that same curve, going up and then out. And then we'll connect the top and the outside with a straight angled line. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyebrow. Starting on the left, we're going to step in, draw a half circle. We're going to come all the way down towards the bottom of the eye, and then pull that up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down, and then back up. Let's add that fold on the inside corner of the eyebrow. I'm just going to curve this down, and bend that up, do the same thing on the right. Let's go back up to the top and add that crease in between the eyebrows. Starting in the middle, we're just going to bend this out towards the left, and straight up. Now with the eyes in place, we're gonna draw the maple syrup dripping across the face. We're gonna start right in the middle, start with a curve that comes down and then up towards the left. Let's round up the top, going up and back down. I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit further. Coming down, just pull this up towards the eye and then we'll bend that out. Going up around the eye and then out towards the side. Let's go back to the center and work our way towards the right. So we go up and then bend that down. So we round this out and go up. Let's add a thick drip down here on the right. Coming down, it's going to pull this up towards the side of the right eye. And then just like we did on the left, it's going to bend this up and then out. Let's stack the pancakes across the side of the head. Starting from the top, just going to cut this out and then in. Go over towards the right, going out, and then in. Let's layer a second pancake underneath. We start on the bottom, put out, down, and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Now I just want to continue this curve in the middle. So we're just going to line this up, come down the middle, and bend that up on the right side. Now we're going to add one more, starting back on the left, curve this out and then in. Now we're going to overlap the scarf on top of the pancake. Starting on the left side, we're going to step out, curve up in the middle, and then bend that back down on the right side. Let's draw the side of the scarf. On the left, we're going to step up, curve around, and then in. We're just going to bend this down and in towards the center point. Come down, and just bend that in towards the point. Going out and up on the right. I'm also going to add a fold on the left side, starting at the top, curve out, and then down. Now we're going to go back up and draw the top of the head. We're going to start on the left side, we're going to step down, draw a drip. We're going to come down and then up, go straight up, bend that in. I'm just going to bend that straight up toward the top of the head. Let's go over towards the right side, step up, curve down, and then in. I'm just going to pull that up and in towards the same height. Let's go back to the left side and round up the top of the head. Starting up here, we're just going to round up the corner, go up in the middle, we'll go across, bend that down towards the right, and then round up the corner. Let's add that stick of butter over on the left side. We're gonna start at the top, start with an angle line, coming down and out toward the left. Go back up to the top, angle down and out towards the right. And then from here, we're just gonna pull this in towards the center point. Come down and 
in and back up on the right. And then we'll draw the front edge of the butter. Starting from the left side, we're gonna draw a short line coming down. Let's draw that same length line in the center and then the right side. And then we'll connect the ends with a straight line. Now we're gonna move down and draw the sticks of butter going across the body. Let's start right in the middle. Start with a curve that comes down and then out towards the left. From here, we're gonna angle down and in towards the hip. Let's follow that same curve, going out and then up. And we'll angle this up and in behind the head. Let's line up the top on the right side. Start with that short angle line coming down and out. I'm just gonna curve this down and in behind. And we'll continue that curve along the bottom and out towards the right hip. Let's flatten off the end like we did on the left. Going up and out. And then following that same curve, going in behind. Let's draw two curves in the center of this belt. Starting in the middle, we're gonna leave a gap, step up, let's follow that same curve, going across and then up, step down, let's draw that same curve going up underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the top, and down in behind, continue along the bottom, step up, let's go up and in behind, and up towards the top. Let's separate the sticks of butter with a series of straight angled lines. Starting from the bottom, we're going to step up, and go down across, and just leave an even space gap all the way up towards the top. And then we'll do the same thing along the bottom. Now we're going to layer the poncho in behind. From the bottom corners, we're going to step up. It's going to curve down and in towards the middle. Go out and up on the right. Now from the top, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom of the scarf. Close this off with a straight line. Let's add some detail to the bottom of the scarf. We're going to step up, draw a straight line going across. And we'll separate out the bottom with a series of straight lines going all the way across from left to right. Let's continue the poncho up above the strap. So we're gonna continue this left line, going out and then up, and then the right side, going up to the same height. And then from the top, curve out and then down towards the side. And from the bottom, we're just gonna round this out, going out and then up. Let's pull this up and in behind the strap, leaving an overlap along the top. Let's trace out the bottom edge of the poncho. Starting on the left, step up, come in, close up, and all the way down towards that bottom point. And we'll work our way up along the right side. Let's do that one more time. Stepping up, using an even space gap all the way across towards the bottom and then back up along the right side. Now you go back to the bottom corner of the strap, draw a straight line coming down towards the hips. And then from here, I'm just gonna curve down and in behind the poncho. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we leave a gap, move over towards the left side, curve the leg going out, and then down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot coming down and then up. Let's go back to the left side and round out the top of the foot. We'll start from the toe, curve up. I'm just going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel, leaving a gap on the inside, and go up and in. Let's go back up to the hips and round out the side of the leg. Starting on the left, curve out, and then down on top of the foot. 
Let's move back down and add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We're going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Let's go back up to the top of the hip, draw a straight angle line coming down and out on both sides. Step down and draw that again. Let's go back to the hip, step up and draw that same curve coming in behind the poncho to the top of the belt. Let's go to the bottom of the strap, draw a straight line coming down on both sides. We're just going to round this out and then come straight in toward the inside of the leg. Let's add two guns on the side of the leg. Starting from the left side, we're going to step up, draw a straight line going out, line this up on the right, come straight down, and then pull that back in behind the side of the leg. Let's go back up to the top corner, step in, draw a short line going up, and then pull that back in behind the hip. Now we're going to go back up and draw on the arms. Let's start from this bottom edge of the strap, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right, do the same thing. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle for the thumb. Let's close off the end with a bracket. Let's add three fingers on either side. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, go down and then up around the bracket. Step down, down and up the second finger. And then the third finger will go out. It's gonna pull this up and in behind the poncho. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Let's go back and separate out the wrist. Starting from the top of the thumb, curve up and then out. And then we'll add a seam across the center of the arm. Starting from the top, it's going to follow the same curve of the arm, going out and then down towards the wrist. And that's pretty much it. There's Man Cake from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.